It's Kendall with Black Ovis, and I'm out, uh, out here in Kentucky, whitetail hunting. Um, I'm running a, a saddle system, so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the saddle and, uh, and setup that I'm doing today. They're cutting corn on this field behind me, so it's loud, but crazy enough, we just had a spike walk 15 yards from us, so anything could happen. I've chosen this tree right here that I'm going to set up on. It's probably just a little bit bigger than what I like. I like a tree that's probably 14 to 16 inches diameter. Um, usually I wear my saddle when I when I walk in, but we walked a little bit far than I, than I was anticipating. So I've got it here in the uh, in my Sitka pack. This is the toolbox. So I've got all my uh, got my sticks, three sticks, hawk climbing sticks, and I'm gonna throw the saddle on real quick to lay it down on the ground, and then just step in through the bridge and then through the leg loops. Um, a couple other systems I've used have the leg loops where you can kind of, they're easy out, easy clip out. This one isn't, it's just a ratchet system. And it's easy to get out, but I just, I leave it on. And I do like to cinch them down, even though a lot of guys will say, you don't need to, uh, don't need to cinch them. I don't run them super tight, but clip it in. And I'm gonna put a jacket on, but I like to climb when I'm not with my jacket otherwise i will overheat and then when i get up the top it's just like hiking in the west you get up to a ridge line and you're just soaked one of the things that i do is i've got this uh this bendable wire this this plastic coated wire from uh from hawk and i just use that to suspend my uh the climbing sticks my platform's right in here. It fits perfectly in the tool bucket. So I usually take my bow and I'll put it, I like it on the right side because that's the side I've got the pole on. So I'll set it down on the right side of the tree where I'm climbing. And this tree, usually I don't climb where trees are, are real close like this, but I'm climbing on the back side or the, the tilted side. And then I'll set my saddle just a little bit to the left, but almost in line with where I'm, I'm climbing. So. First things first, I'm gonna use the advantage of putting, obviously putting this one in from the ground. Now on these hawk sticks, I have, um, got that off. I have taken climbing rope. This is, I think, six mil climbing rope. And I've, I've just tied off knots here through the bottom of that. And then I use PEX. This is a PEX line from what you'd use inside your house for plumbing. And that just makes a one eight or so basically I've taken this two step and made it a three step with about ounce and a half, two ounces tops. So me personally, I like to be about, now remember this first step. So I'll put this top step about chin height, lift it up just a little bit. Okay, it's good. I'm gonna pull my linemans out. Sometimes people, you know, when I first started, I would try and do two, I would try to have this too short, but you actually have an advantage for those of you that have saddle, saddle hunted or been a lineman or whatever. There's a little bit more advantage to have a little bit longer one. And I do like this, how soft this is. It really grabs onto the, onto the, uh, the tree bark. So there we go. So I just unravel one. And again, keeping in mind where that's gonna end up. Sometimes I'll use my chin or my head. I'm fling it around. It looks silly, but again, I'm not trying to risk, you know, endanger myself. So I want to make sure that I stay steady.
So at this point, swing my pack around, unhook the bottom of the tool bucket, and just pull my platform right out, right out of the sleeve. About a 45 degree angle is what I typically do. And I'm camming that down. And you hear that kind of crunching that on these big, bigger oaks. Okay, once I've gotten, once I've gotten on my platform, still have my linemans on, um, I reach in my back, my pouch on my right, and I'm gonna pull out my, uh, my safety line. This one's got a prusik instead of having kind of like an ascender. Anyway, go through the loop. And then essentially this is just girth hitched around the, uh, around the tree. And I try and put the safety line between my chin and my forehead, depending on kind of the tree and the angle. Um, I don't want to be too far uh, to one side, but I do, I'm going to center this one just to the right, just a, a little uphill from my self, and then connect that to the bridge. Make sure you lock down your carabiner. And then what I do is I put the linemans down, and I just want to test this. So... Once I've tested it and everything feels good, then, and I feel like all my weight's on the bridge, and then I feel safe. Everything checks out, beaner locked, prospect looks tight, the, the safety line loop is good. I'll stand back up, and what I'm gonna do is I'll unhook my linemans. And that goes right back in the bag. And I just stow that right in the bag. I leave the right-hand side connected to the harness. Um, just because it's easier to deploy that way. I don't have to fiddle with it. And uh, especially if it's after dark when I'm coming out or when I'm dropping down, last thing I want to do is fiddle with it and then I accidentally drop it. Now this is private land. Um, that I have, uh, I'm on a lease with some friends, so I can put hooks in trees, but don't, uh, don't just assume that you can because you're anywhere. Check your local regs and make sure that you can put something in a tree. If not, just get like a piece of webbing. Okay, pack comes off. Cool thing about the Sitka pack, you can hang it from the hand holder or it has a loop that I just filter through and hang right there. Got my extra jacket and up comes the bow. And the reason why I also leave it way out to the side is so my rope doesn't get stuck in my sticks, which happened before and that really blows. Hang my bow up and I'll take I'll take the uh, cover off in two seconds. Let's see, 504, so 18 minutes. Basically up the tree on set. You know, probably probably took a couple minutes, so really let's say 20 minutes. And I'm good oh 28 feet, 32 feet off the ground. So there you go, hot climbing system with saddle, uh, linemans, safety line, platform, and the four ultralight two-step sticks.